I'm Michael Cole alongside Taz, and we welcome you to Portland, Oregon. It's been a long time since we've come to Portland, and it's great to be back. No doubt, no doubt, Cole. Tonight, the Rose City's going to get its face rocked, and I can't wait. And neither can these fans. We better get started, or we might have a riot on our hands. Ladies and gentlemen, we are seeing an incredible display of athletic ability here tonight. What do you expect, Cole? He's a WWE superstar for crying out loud. They're the greatest athletes in the world. True enough, Taz. There's no off-season for them. There's no month or two off between matches. There sure ain't, Cole. I mean, these guys are here week in and week out, and every night they leave it in the ring. And they do it all for the WWE fans, Taz. Without them, none of us would even be here. Man, even if you end up winning a match like this, you're going to be feeling it for the next week. Yes, but that's the case if you lose as well. And having to deal with emotional as well as physical pain is that much worse. Emotional? What the hell are you talking about? Well, I've been in the locker room after a match and seen the superstars who don't get their hands raised. You can literally feel the disappointment radiating off. Come on, ref. That should have been a disqualification right there. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, Cole, but it's not. It's not a disqualification. I feel like a real jerk when somebody counters you like that. Nice reversal. I gotta tell you, Cole, I thought I had this thing figured out. But now I got no idea how this is gonna end up. Neither do I, Taz. And I think it's that unpredictability that makes it so exciting. No doubt, Cole. I've seen superstars get a huge advantage over their opponents and still lose the match because they got sloppy. Anything can happen in WWE. An entire match can turn on one or two big moves. And thank you, Captain Obvious. I just think it's unfortunate whenever a superstar decides to cheat to win rather than compete fair. And the crowd has come alive tonight with a chant directed at the superstars in the ring. Yeah, and you can't let that break your focus. But that's easier said than done. Superstars give everything they got when they're in a match like this. But a lot of people don't realize what they sacrifice behind the scenes also. No question. If you want to make it in the WWE, you've got to sacrifice just about everything for your career. It has to be as important to you as anything else in your life. But what you got to realize, to make it in the WWE, this is not a job. This is a lifestyle. That's why you see so much passion for what they do in the ring. And that's something you won't see anywhere else. With all due respect to every athlete and entertainer out there, no one gives as much of themselves to their fans as the WWE superstars. Oh my, the submission hold is locked in. And this ain't easy to get out of either, Cole. It's a reversal, Cole. Superstars face off. You're not going to hear me say this much, Cole, but I definitely agree with you. This has all the makings of a nice long feud. I don't know how nice it is, but there are certainly some issues. But whether you like this superstar or not, you got to have a little sympathy right now. I have to agree with you, partner. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. That's just about the last position you want to find yourself in. No doubt. I don't care how tough you are. That hurts. You can't compete in a physical match like this and not wind up feeling the effects. And that's what we're starting to see right here. Man, I almost feel bad for JR and King, Cole. When's the last time you think they saw a match this good? I couldn't tell you, Taz. I don't know if they've ever had anything this good on Raw. Me neither. Because I guess that just makes sense. I mean, after all, SmackDown is the number one brand in all of sports entertainment. And that's one of the few things we completely agree on, partner. It doesn't get any bigger or better than SmackDown. He 
This has been a great match so far. And I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. Oh, really? Are you willing to go out on a limb and actually make a guess then? There's no guesswork involved, Cole. But if you're going to be sniffy, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. Well, if I knew it was that easy, uh, I would have said that years ago. Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. Oh, come on, Paul. You know, you should let me train you. You could be cruiserweight champion in like a year. Oh, no. I've heard stories about the way you train people. You make marine drill instructors look like pushovers. Duh. They're just training people to go to war. I train them to be WWE superstars. Well, thanks, but no thanks, partner. I think I'll stick to announcing for now. I think we're hearing the First Amendment in action here tonight, Taz. It's a great thing to hear, Cole. I'm all in favor of freedom of expression. Great reversal! You just don't see action like this every day, Cole. You sure don't, Taz. And we've got the best seats in the house. No doubt, front center. We couldn't be any close to this match without being in it. There's the pin! Here's your